You might be wondering why I'm in the back of a tow truck. But that's because we're headed on a long drive. So I got Hillbilly driving. We are headed down to Torrey, Utah. I actually got a call this morning from Matt. From Matt's Off-Road Recovery. He said that somebody reached out to him and we're closer. So I got the guy named Rob's information. We got the pin location and we figured out that he had left Capitol Reef and he decided to take a road that he shouldn't have taken. And he went until he couldn't turn around and he's stuck in about two to three feet of snow. So they walked out about a mile last night. Today they tried to get some help and we're on our way. The boss has it like 800 degrees in here. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm in the back. Stay away from the heat. We're gonna stop at Love's. We're gonna get the tow truck fueled up, fuel up whiskers, get some road snacks, get some food, do what all we need to do. And we'll be on the road to Tory. So Hillbilly pulled this truck way too far forward to get the diesel to it. It'll spit. <laughs> Where? In what world? Wayne's world. In what world? Wayne's world. Okay, driver. I'm gonna pump diesel on this one, or we're gonna pump gas up there. You're that, my friend. It's called being efficient. Do you think we'll fill it? Oh yeah, we'll fill it. I don't know how much is out. I'll bet we're 15 gallons down. We got it full. How much? How much fuel? Oh, 19. Hey. I guess 15 gallons. All right, we're fueled up, we're gassed up. Now we're gonna go fuel our bellies. So we're gonna go get some road snacks and some food and we'll be right back. All right, so we got all fueled up with loves, got us a few road snacks, and we are on our way to somewhere outside of Torrey, Utah. We've got a pin location, we'll show you on the screen. We're gonna be going through Loa, Bicknell, and Torrey, Utah, to the top rim, the north side of Capitol Reef. We've got a 2022 Ford Bronco that we're gonna go get out of the snow, and we're gonna razz the guy a little bit. So we actually got an email from his son-in-law named Vernon and he let us know that this guy is normally the most prepared person in the entire family. This time he wasn't so prepared. So we're gonna razzle him a little bit about not being prepared, just all in fun. So our nice little drive just turned really not so nice. It wasn't snowing and now it's snowing. We're about five miles away from where we're gonna meet the customer and the road conditions are just turning for the worst. So Hillbilly just brought it to my attention that we still have not hit 50,000 likes on this video right here. I'm a little teapot short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spell. So you guys need to go check it out. If we can get that video to 50,000 likes, we're gonna buy him a Harley. It may not be brand new, but it'll be a Harley. Let's get him to 50,000 likes and let's get this guy a Harley. So we're about one more mile till we meet the customer. I don't about know. 9,000 likes. Yeah, we're about, we're about 9,000 likes away and one mile from the customer. I don't really know what to expect. We're, snow. well, yeah, there's snow, but we're in some location where I guess he's just gonna meet us and he's gonna jump in whiskers and we're gonna go save the day. Old Fort, pull out new Fort. Confucius say, oof nung poo. Oh, it's <laughs> you never heard that? No. <laughs> Confucius <laughs> say, oof nung poo. It's a real thing. It is, I promise. I think you made it up like everyone thought I made up the llama song. Well, we'll see what the internet says. All right, so I'm gonna guess that whoever's sitting in that truck in the middle of nowhere is waiting to meet us. When we stopped at Flying J, Robbie said to Hillbilly, make sure that we have ropes and shackles in the back of the snowcat. We didn't check. Hopefully we have them. Um, you forgot something. What? You didn't check to see if we had any ropes in the snowcat. <laughs> Let's hope we have some ropes. All right, so we made it to some turnoff. I don't even know if you can call it a road right now because there's two and a half feet of snow. We met up with a guy named Rob. Rob is here as tribute for his father. My dad's 72 years old. So his dad's 72 years old. And last night, he had to hike out of this entire, you're, you're gonna see, it's like a mile, mile and a half of snow. So they hiked out when they got stuck. And what'd you do, hitchhike? That's what we did. We we caught a couple rides right here. We stood here and waved people down, and they were kind enough to bring us down to Boulder. That's awesome. So they hitchhiked, got their, got themselves into Boulder, Utah, and got a hold of Matt, got a hold of us, and now we're here. We're going to go find this Bronco. Why, why is it stuck? How wow. is it stuck? I don't even... This isn't even a road. This is What'd what you I do? can tell you. When we, when we started up this part of the road, there was a little bit of snow, and we were just plowing right through it. It's no big deal. And then we hit what I would call a drift. And that was the end of that. Yeah, it was going really good till it wasn't. So exactly right. anyway, we're gonna hop in whiskers and get down to the Bronco and 
hopefully pull it right back out. I'm gonna grab my phone, make sure we're going down, going down the right road. Yeah, if we can't figure it out, Rob back there will tell us where to go. But we're gonna follow the GPS for now and hope it doesn't get us lost. Oh, oh, oh the bump there. We'll, we'll go slow so we don't hurt anybody. About the only thing getting you out of here is a snow cat. <laughs> So, so far, we're lost. Let's go over that. And now we're trying to turn around and it's not a very good turning race. And there's so much snow up here. You know what? That dang Siri took us on the wrong road. We're back on the correct road. And Rob knows where we're at. Siri didn't know where we were and was taking us on the wrong road. But all is well again. The only thing is we have to come back out of this with a Bronco. Not too good. Not too good, but not too bad. So there's a heck of a lot more snow where we're coming from than there is right here, but they are most definitely stuck. So we're gonna figure out how to, luckily they're turned around. So all we gotta do is kind of bump it, get it going and then pull them 1.7 miles to the road. Did so, you check if we had ropes? Hopefully we have the ropes. All right, so one thing I just noticed, this still has a temporary tag on it. Is this brand new? It's got 600 miles on it. <laughs> what a perfect thing to take out here. Way to break it in. So obviously it was your dad that did this, wasn't it? His truck, he drives. Yeah, it's his dad's. So his dad didn't even want to come out and help us get it out. So normally he's super prepared from what we hear and now his Bronco's stuck and he had to walk two miles out. Doesn't look very prepared. Vernon didn't tell us to say that. They towed this behind an RV. Yeah. So it's got a tow bar hook in the front. So we're gonna get inside, grab the mount, get whiskers turned around. Hopefully this is just gonna be super simple. We'll hook up and we'll get this thing out of here. Let's see what the pins look like. These slide in and then you've got this open. So if we had something we could slide through there. We might have something in the all whiskers to help. Hey look, I got snacks, you want a snack? <laughs> Moment of truth. I already see it. We have a rope. Look at that. Woo! Thank you, Ganko. We've got to find a bolt or something to stick through this because they don't have no keepers. We may have to go to the control arm then. So do we want to do this in half? V-bridle it? Shorten it up? I would keep it long so you have runs. Okay, well then let's get another rope and let's make a V-bridle and then we'll use this one. So hopefully we have another rope. We have a humongous one. See, we're prepared. We have three bags full. Oh, there we go. We'll use that as a bee bridle. We still need another shackle. Oh, that work? <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of our short straps. We're gonna make a little V bridle out of it. So we'll just put it through the rope. We're gonna soft shackle these mounts and we're gonna hope for the best. This looks like it's still good. Did you it, see? It's good until it's not. Is yours good? Is it tight? Do you wanna do you wanna get in and start it, Rob? We'll at least get it defrosting. Do you know what I can't wait for? Break and break are you there, old trucky? Hey Will, are you there? I don't know how many times I have to tell you you don't have to go catch every time. Sounds good. You do I'm going you now. Oh now you're doing it. Make fun of you. Ellie he thinks he's funny. Alright, so but in all reality. We got a couple rugged radios. Hillbilly's wife got them at the Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Heavy record games from Rugged Radio's booth. So we're gonna try them out. Hopefully one day we get us an entire setup of rugged radios. But that day is not today. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. The whole way. Hillbilly just realized there's lockers in this wild track. But they made it really far up this road, so it doesn't surprise me that there's lockers. Um, I'm not gonna bump you, just cause we're like up against a ledge basically so i'll just get it tight and then we'll just put pressure you just kind of assist it okay we'll communicate through the radios we'll get you out of here appreciate it so uh instead of a harley uh, you can give me one of these broncos instead 
No, thank you. Why? It's about the same price. I'll bet you that Bronco 70 grand. <laughs> That's why I'm asking you. No, Hillbilly's back there spouting off, thinking he wants a Bronco now. So let's just get him a Harley instead. He should have told us that before we started working on his Bronco. Look at that. We're going to get out of here before the sun goes down. All right, the joys of recovery. Sometimes it takes 10 times longer to drive to the recovery than it does to actually get it recovered. So most of the ride was just like this. We were just kind of cruising right along. It was no big thing. It wasn't until we hit that drift and kind of slid off to the side and sunk. Hey, Robbie, did you know these Broncos have a button you can turn on? There's a button you can flip that makes this pretty much steer with brakes. That's actually kind of cool. How many recoveries like this do you guys do a week? Um, it all really depends on the week. Cause this is like the first one we've done like this for a couple weeks now. Hey Robbie, turn your brake off. Sorry. <laughs> he told me my brake light was on. Ooh. Now that's a deep drift. What a difference having the right tool for the job. This snow's pretty deep. That's why we stayed hooked up. That's the resistance. So we stay hooked up just so that we don't have any issues. So sometimes I can feel that I'm pulling it through the snow, but overall, we're making it out just fine. We're sinking hard to the driver. Hey, I'm gonna back up and bump him. Okay. Feels All right, you guys ready? Go for it. Do you like them apples? They were pretty tasty. I'm wondering if the, that steer assist would help any out here. No. Well, I think it would break a tire, so like it, it, it applies the brake. I don't know if we want to not be spinning. I don't know. Traction control must be off. Yeah. If so, you wouldn't be able to spin them like this. I can't tell which way my wheels are turned at the moment. I'm going to bump him. What way is his wheel set? He's, he's straight right now, so just stay there. Go. <laughs> Off. Hold on, I gotta reposition. Nope, nope. Nope. I can't. I'm about to hit a snowbank. Another thing I like to do is because you can't really tell what way your wheel's turning. Are you guys good? Yeah. I always like to have my window down and have my head out to see. So that way you can see some sense. Where, where your tire is. But let's do one more bump. Try number three. When we start going, just give enough throttle that it's just barely oh, yeah. going, but not enough to make them spin real hard. Okay. Give her the onion. No, she broke. Drop a gear. I think we should really throw a supercharger on there. No, oh, we're gonna definitely build it. Maybe even set it up with a sniff of uh, nitrous. We made it back to the fork in the road where we turned the wrong way the first time. So we're pretty close to the main road. We're gonna be back in just a second. Remember, we got those give your head a concussion bumps up here. We're in something that actually has a suspension. I'm gonna have to slow down for it. I'm wondering if there's a way to set up suspension on one of those air rides. Air ride on the seat. But you can do that in the front seat, but it doesn't back. say the back seat's not so much. There it is. Hey, I think I see the road. Have them keep coming. Yeah, because it's driving under its own. Not too bad for a couple amateurs. 
All right, so Rob's gonna pull the Bronco out of the snow. Hillbilly's gonna sit right here in the Freightliner. I'm backing Whiskers back onto the snow. He'll back the Freightliner up, we'll load it, and we're getting out of here because we got some dinner to go have. We're gonna find us a little hole in the wall restaurant or something good, get some food, and get home. All right, so we went in, we got the Bronco out, we got Whiskers loaded back up, and we're gonna be headed back for home. So thank you for the call. Thank you, appreciate Absolutely. the help, really do. Anytime, don't make this a habit, but anytime. <laughs> Well, listen, I'll never make it a habit, but if I could get my old man yeah. stuck, I'll do that all day long. Hey, you know what? And if your dad wouldn't have gotten himself stuck very, very unprepared, you wouldn't have been able to call us. So thanks for being unprepared for the first time in your whole life. From what Vern tells me, you're the most prepared person. You weren't very prepared. After this uh, uh, little episode, I'm sure he's going to be prepared next time. Yeah, he'll be prepared. He'll have a snow cat in his back pocket. He'll have a, a yank him rope with him. He'll have everything. All right, well, we're going to hit the road and get back. He's going to get back to his family. All right, so we got back super late last night. But as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.